Why do you think the, the West Coast is so reluctant to kind of band together like the East Coast has? The West Coast in Los Angeles, from or all of California, it's just so big that everything is spread out. Everybody has their own little so-called kingdoms, and they stick to them. You know what I mean? They have their own artists they want to push, so they focus all their efforts on themselves and their artists, as opposed to oh, let me give a call to so and so and let's get him down here and let's sort of collaborate and, and support all of our artists together. You know, it's starting to happen little by little. But, you know, being that the, the climate on the West Coast as far as breaking groups and as far as the support that we get from radio out there, it's minimal. So everybody concentrates on trying to make their shit pop because as it is, you know, our, our radio stations support more East Coast and, and uh, Southern artists more than they do their own artists and that's a fucking shame but that's the way it is so that kind of keeps everybody divided mm -hmm. but if everybody like you know did like they do here and get together on records I think the radio stations out there all those outlets would make a big deal out of, about it because it's rare when they hear records like that like oh shit Ice Cube and Snoop and Exhibit and Be Real or you know, something something of that nature, you know, radio would jump on that because you rarely hear that. So what, what was your involvement <clears throat> on the record? What was that? Uh, I don't know, B-Real got me on, what, five songs on that one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so just really getting in there and bringing that new, fresh, you know, young blood. I mean, B-Real can tell it the best. You know, how we met was kind of crazy and just, you know, our vibe. Like, it's, it's audio hustle, man, to the casket drops right now. That's how we ride now, so. Just a lot of real good, uh, you know, youthful energy on the record. A lot of spitting and a lot of, you know, just ideas, man. You know, coming from my perspective. Nice. Well, how yeah. did you guys meet? What's the story behind that? Well, basically, you know, I was working on some mixtapes before I got to working on the album. I mean, I had done a couple of songs for the album, but, you know, I knew the album was going to take a minute, so I worked on some mixtapes. And I had Mello, uh, which is Scent Dog's younger brother, uh, collaborating with me on the mixtapes and he'd been bringing D by and we just thought he was you know Melo's homie we didn't know he he rapped or, or you know spit or any of that because he was just quiet chilling you know just observing not like a lot of MCs out there who want to spit in your ear like hey can I spit 16 bars on this yo let me give you this tape you know he just was kind of reserved till Melo one day said hey man you should check D out he's kind of tight We're like he raps why the fuck he ain't said nothing Oh, well, you know, he's just, you know, he's chill. So, you know, I played a, I played a beat for him, and he just started spitting. I was like, yo, we need to get him on. Here, pull up this song right now. And, you know, that's, it just started from there. And, you know, like he said, he started to incorporate a lot of, you know, fresh young blood, new ideas and stuff like that. Stuff maybe I wasn't thinking about, you know. And I'll whenever I do any kind of music with anybody, I put my ego aside because... You don't know everything as an artist no matter how long you've been in the game you know what you know but that's not everything you continue to learn and continue to experience new new things you know what i mean so what he brought to the table was new and fresh